you know black folks and basically what we're going to explain to you is how if it is actually the shadow and this is a good example because this is Io it's a moon of Jupiter I believe could be wrong on that but I think it's Jupiter uh, yeah it's not it's not Sat Saturn Saturn's got like I don't know what I could be wrong on that too it doesn't really matter at this point in time Io and sh in the, its shadow okay this is an actual NASA picture so you know the factual that the object puts off the same size shadow in space and remember the sunlight that we get right now is from our just now how many stars are there in our solar system that basically are suns should be just the sun correct now we had remember that nasa physicist that he passed away and he said there's three suns in our solar system okay and we pretty much do look like we get a nuclear fusion machine is the sun and it rotates in a ball three of them okay now the actual factual we always get data on just being a plot map of just the sun and so forth and so on that's fine now no matter what an object with light in space the light that's available will just put off the same size shadow from NASA's cameras as you see right here because basically Io this is Io a moon of I believe Jupiter that's Jupiter in the background puts off just the same size shadow of its as it okay now remember looking at this come back to this now remember this earth is too small to put a shadow on the sun what it is is it goes into the lens of the SDO the solar dynamics observatory whichever camera or whichever satellite that it's making that eclipse at okay in the lens because the light curvature that's coming off of it and what's interesting is it kind of bleeds through a little bit that it's that but why does it not come more directly and we get more of a study of the light curvature of the sun coming towards the lens and that's right it's one IU away now remember I've always showed you that the cameras on the satellites are one IU away unless they get closer if they get into Mars orbit some of the other satellites uh, let me show you now you see it's what it is is what they're talking about is the shadow because if we if we make Earth right here, which is the Y, which is the same one all you away from the sun, okay, if its shadow, its shadow is going to be going back this way. So the only thing that you're going to get a shadow on right now would be Juno, okay? That the shadow of, and as you see the position of the sun right now on the satellite Juno. So basically, we kind of blow their 72 minutes of a shadow because either that or there's a star that's putting enough light on the backside of Earth to put a shadow across and that means that either this angle here towards satellite SOHO ACE or this way to that one or any other satellite this one here because the light comes off the light curvature comes off of the Sun towards Earth and this is Earth right there the yellow one so no matter what if the shadow which is the exact same size as Earth that's out there in space it would be on the back side of Earth here and as you see right now the direct back shadow of the sunlight over the Earth so we have more evidence that more than likely what you might be seeing from the shot that at least space weather shows on that shot is something to do with the meatballs because the idea the factual they didn't really date the time but they tell you the minutes now that's true because see that shadow is only going to be for a short amount of time and as it goes to see but there's no light curvature the only one it could be is if it was that shots getting taken from satellite Juno okay that if you're getting some kind of a shadow of anything to do with earth being a shadow okay so let me go ahead and go to a drawing ie sha IO shadows same size remember it doesn't matter we don't really know at this shot where the Sun was at but doesn't matter the light from the Sun which should have been over this way and as you can see the brightness of, of Jupiter here the face of it there a little bit you see the Sun's up this way somewhere and I just basically are in my library of pictures so basically then you get the shadow of Io over here on the back side so then we go to we go to picture and we make a we're, what we're gonna be able to do is we're gonna be able to make a little bit of an and Earth's gonna be too dang big but let me see if I can do it like this what this is is this a picture from whichever uh, one and it's, we're, we're supposed to be led to believe that this is curiosity that did this shot okay and I'm gonna make a little pencil mark anywhere out here in space but this was is a shot from Mars on the surface 
we're supposed to believe that it's, now that's just that little black that I just put there, those little black. Basically, I'll change color, and I'll just make a little, because it, it'll actually be too big, unless I can make a real tiny mark. Okay, there. Earth's not even that big. Okay, five times, probably ten times that size, okay, compared to the sun. Now, this is the Van Allen magnetical light curvature magnetics, remember, and I'm going to show you another picture of Earth's magnetic static that it gets that builds up from the sun in our atmosphere because this is the sun being seen from the surface of Mars from curiosity okay so anywhere that the any object would be in space the shadow would be out I can't draw out here but I can draw out here the basically the shadow of Earth would be just basically on the back side same size okay so when they're showing you and telling you that they say it begins every season, and that's fine if the shadow, but then it means the shadow is going into the lens of the camera. And then I'll do a little drawing on that, that if, if anything is this. But what's unusual, then the shadow when it's getting, but what's, what's interesting is what shadow are we going to be seeing that they're talking about, because the, the, they got this, it's going to be March 3rd that this is going to happen, okay? So what shadow are we going to be seeing and which lens on which satellite, okay? because we know it has to be into the lens that the shadow will come and it'll have to be pretty sharp but the only thing is the light curvature and the energy off the sun is so much but since we are sitting with what we know for satellites right now of knowing that okay which one is it going to be that which satellite are we going to get the shadow off of okay because the shadow will be on the back side of earth is it going to be the Junos the Juno satellite that they're going to be getting the pictures from because Earth will be a little bit, Earth can't travel that fast, and Juno ain't going to travel that fast back over here. Okay? So, and it's not a shadow coming from this direction, because sunlight hits Earth like this. So, there's what satellite are we talking about that's going to get this shadow, and then is it going to be one of our meatballs? Because no matter what, the meatballs exist out there in space, and Bino's been showing you. And basically, there was the one at Christmas where I had everybody trapped because they were at home with their families for Christmas. We ended up seeing the actual factual now we ended up seeing the meatball here we've seen it in a lot of my videos and then remember don't trust the numbers because they, they squash the numbers for the factual actual okay so there's the one hottie bag at Christmas time we had everybody trapped and they had to watch the meatball they didn't want to put up with their family so they got on the internet and they ended up seeing hottie bag Santa 19,000 plus views basically what it was the Christmas present they took the video counter down I have a lot more people that watch my channel than what the video counters say okay so that, I got that directly from Silicon Valley. I, I used to live in Cali for 26 years, so some friends gave me a Christmas present by letting me know how many fans that actually watch on average, possibly. And it could be low and high. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes, since they, especially since they moved my channel around right now, and that I have to put my videos up on the other one, it could be a lot less. Okay. So the meatball's out there, and the meatball gives a big shadow. And there's way more than one meatball. So what we're trying to get the factual is here and I want to thank Space Weather for basically showing the fact that nothing is going to be basically be able to make a shadow like that only if it's into the lens of the camera and what blows it away is the idea of the positioning of all the satellites right now and the Sun is the star the biggest and we know that there's three suns but I don't really care would we'll you stick with it whatever NASA and everybody always wants to make you believe that there's just one Sun okay well it's only gonna put a shadow back here lighting in space so what satellite is it going to be putting this shadow in? And now we're going to be starting to look for shadows on our footage starting March 3rd to see what, what is it the meatball making the shadow or is it going to be Mars making the shadow? And Mars can't make that big of a shadow because it's not, if there's a shadow out there, there's going to be a shadow on this camera from Mars. Or actually, I'm lying on that because that's, I didn't lie, but that's Mercury right there. So Mercury could be putting a shadow onto this satellite here, which is, this is this Kepler doesn't really matter it's one of the Kepler satellites okay because this is Juno back over here so it's going to be interesting to see what Mercury's putting a shadow in a lens on these cameras that we have out here okay because right now we don't have any other planet in front of this one to make a shadow in that lens or make a shadow in that lens and Earth is not going to make a shadow in this one right now unless they move Juno all the way over here okay so let's go back to our drawing on realizing that how a shadow gets put off so if this is earth and all the sunlight off the earth is coming towards earth and this this remember i'm going to show you a picture of static electricity we're like a balloon stuck in space 
we are connected statically to this static light curvature of the sun, magnetic energy, and then the mag magnetic energy buildup of the sunlight hitting Earth all the time. And then this would be the shadow that gets caught in the lens that's supposedly supposed to put this supposed shadow. So we're going to be watching this very closely, and we're going to be looking at uh, the footage very interestingly from the March 3rd. So thanks to Space Weather for letting us know whatever we kn know now that we know scientifically fact that we're going to get a shadow in some pictures so from the satellites. So we're going to end up seeing what we actually factually have. So because you got the truth from Beano Black, because truth, the only size shadow is the same size as the object when sun is the big flashlight, the movie light up here okay putting out anything in space because that's the only thing you're going to get a shadow from from anything in the, our solar system is going to be from the sunlight or the luminosity of the planet jupiter but as you can see it's the sunlight that puts the planet's shadow the same size as the moon and there's a lot of moons that are on jupiter that are in also saturn that are bigger than earth so why do they call moons just moons well they are the moons of those planets but they're still bigger than some planets especially the ones on jupiter and saturn they're bigger than earth Okay, so you got the light coming off the sun in our solar system, and anything that's going to, and this is the shadow of Earth here, okay, because this is Earth here that we're saying, then the shadow is going to be into the eyeball of the satellite, okay, this would be our shadow here, this is our shadow, okay, okay, I'm making the satellite bigger, okay, but this shadow of Earth, which is red, is going to be into the eye socket of the camera. To make a shadow like that that's going to make into 72 minute eclipse okay so which satellite is what we're interested in is it because you just think that this is earth and this is the earth shadow we're going to see what satellite it is that the idea that it's going to block and put a shadow right into the lens of the camera so you'll be able to keep watching this map and be able to figure out if they're saying that earth is doing the eclipse then which one is it Earth going to put, because it only should be Juno that Earth is going to put an eclipse into. So basically, what it's going to be is one of the Kepler satellites is Mercury is going to be able to put a shadow into this one, okay, first. In the future, we'll see the other ones where, what will put a, a shadow into a satellite, okay? Because the only thing I know right now is Mercury should be able to put a, sat a shadow into the lens cap of this one here. Okay, but just into the lens caps, and then if we keep seeing a huge shadow on the sun, then we know it's the meatball, i.e. the meatball. Slip a little data in here, a couple of C's today, and you always see my time down here in the lower right-hand corner, time, date. And here, go to NASA's, and you can figure out your, yourself with your own eyes of our solar cycles, okay? There's your link and everything like that for that. Matter of fact, I can take a link here. Boom. Cut, paste. Put it here. You might be able to see it a little bit better. Okay. So, oh, come on. Now, I was showing you this ramped up speed, and basically, this is the energy coming on. And I want to uh, put a, I just, I'd love everybody to go over to, uh, you can see who I'm at up there on the top. It's three minute news, two minute news, four minute news, whatever. Suspicious observers, okay. Don't know them from a hole in the wall, okay? But basically, coronal hole stream is what, off the sun, is what we figured that got us into this 700, because it did peak at 700. I showed you my other data, okay? And then this, he's got the magnetosphere and everything in here. And then, uh, you know, he has his out to share his footage. And all, mine too, just let me know, because you ask me, and I should give you permission to be, as long as you're not trying to ask, ask me. So that was some good... Uh, and here's a little bit of data, but let's just give you this here stream of, and I'm going to give you some actual fresh of our, uh, give you some more of that magnetic pause, there you go. And then I'm going to show you, we've actually got it too on, it doesn't need to do a retraction because Mercury goes counterclockwise, it doesn't go clockwise. This object is something outside our solar system, outside our solar system, either that or we found something that rotates clockwise in our solar system okay so he's wrong on that being that's not mercury okay he needs to retract so anyway that's not mercury okay rotation so no matter what these many people know how to get to my new channel where i can upload okay so no matter what our average that we usually always see but they always lie to you about the i showed you sun's static clean before and then it clings to our earth's magnetic clean 
This is real per video. Fact, no advertising money, so bad numbers. Massive movement.